What's up, guys? Grizzly Wizard here, coming back for another reaction to The Legend of Korra. This is episode 6, The Battle of Zaufu. Negotiations have failed. Kuvira is making her move no matter what. Bolin, Varric, and Julie tried to escape and they got captured. And Julie has now betrayed Varric. Please. I don't buy it for a second. I think it's part of an elaborate ruse that she's going to use to try and spring Varric from lockup. She's just trying to gain the trust of her captors right now. I have faith in Julie. She's going to do the right thing. But without further ado, let's keep going, because I really got to see what happens next. I really hope Zafu doesn't fall, but it's really early in the season for them to get a major win against Kuvira, so I am pretty nervous that, that we're not going to win this battle. Kuvira threatens to take Zalfu by force. Korra brokered a truce, but it was too late. Sue and her sons were already on their way to put an end to Kuvira. Yeah. If the assassination attempt fails, which it's, it's bound to do, it's just going to give her the perfect justification to move her forces into the city. I can't believe Sue would be this impulsive. Oh, and here it comes. Sue and her sons. Are you sure this will work? Tonight, we end her reign of terror. Oh, I'm nervous for Sue. This is not going to go the way you think. Nice. Okay. Using the old sonar. Now's our chance. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Don't hurt me. Julie? No! It's a trap! Alright, back through the floor. Let's go. I knew you'd try sneak attack. You've always been a coward. Take that. Shit. You have to go stop Sue before she does something nope, terrible. it's too late. You're way too late now, Cora. And now she's going to hold Sue hostage and use her to force the city to step, to step down. All we can do now is wait. Attention, citizens of Zhao Fu. Here it comes. Your leader, Sue Bei Fong, attempted to attack me tonight while I slept. I now have her and her assault team in custody. Your remaining representatives meet me outside the city at dawn to offer the full and unconditional mm. surrender of your Don't you city. Dare. That is all. God damn it, Sue. I can't believe you put the city in this position. Why did she have to go personally? Why couldn't she have just sent her sons and then, like, distance herself from it, you know? Doesn't she know how assassinations work? Kuvira was just defending herself. She was going to attack our city. I can't believe you're refusing to fight. Why is that loudspeaker lady talking when I'm trying to sleep? <laughs> Mila with the real issues here. Janora and I will go talk to Kuvira at dawn, and maybe we can work something out. Damn, that is some bed hair. <laughs> Make sure they get back to Tenzin safely if anything goes wrong. Oh, things are going to go wrong. Hot towels. Waxy buildup. Julie! <laughs> Come on. She really is gone. Up and at him, Varric. Time to go to work. Julie always greeted me in the morning with a, a hot cup of tea. You'll get your tea when you start work. Well, I'm really only productive for about 15 minutes a day, usually in the afternoon around 3.45. <laughs> What's going on? Go back to sleep. You'll need your energy when you get to the re-education camp. Maybe Bolin is going to be able to, like, lead a mass escape of the re-education camp and then come back and help out. The guards will be your assistant. As long as he doesn't need his hands afterwards. <laughs> What's he talking about, sir? The last time we worked with the Spirit Vines, it created an uncontrollable blast that burned through a wall and could still be blowing up comets in space, as far as I know. <laughs> I wouldn't want to assist me if I were you. Maybe we should just let the kid help him out. Fine. Nice. Bolin can assist. No, this is good. Keeping them together. Uh, hold on. Can we get breakfast first? While we still have hands? <laughs> Bolin, you're too simple. He was just saying that to scare the other guard. Release them now! If Sue agrees to bow to me and turn over Zhao Fu, never! I'll never bow to you. Come on, Sue. You should just bow and then pull the old take her back Johnson and just like be like, nope, just kidding, and then like close up the city. All you gotta do is get out of those shackles and we can try and rescue them. Where's Bolin? I know he would never go along with this. I assure you he's on board with my plans. No, come on, Opal. You know him better than that. Now turn over, Zhao Fu. I can't just let you take the city. You are interfering with internal Earth's empire business. Ooh, if they attack Korra, though, she can defend herself with prejudice. 
This is about equality. Mm, we've done the whole equalizer thing before. The only way you're going to keep me from marching into Zalfu is if you physically stop me. It's not exactly off the table. I want you all to know that I would never ask any of you to do something that I'm not willing to do myself. She's gonna fight her herself. I will fight the Avatar one on one. Korra, if you win, then you can do whatever you want with Zalfu. But after I beat you, I want you out of my business for good. You're not relevant here anymore. Damn. You're not relevant anymore. Ouch. Then let's finish this. Right now. I knew now. that was going to get under her skin. Let's go. Kuvir is too confident. Fighting the Avatar? She's got to have an angle here. She's going to cheat somehow. Also, we don't know that Korra is back to full strength. Kuvir made a pointed comment about how I thought you were still healing, you know? But I got a lot of pent-up rage. Don't mess around. Kuvira is too good. Just go into the Avatar state and get it over you with. You haven't spent all your time training. Mm, I'm nervous for Korra. Use whatever you want. Anything you need. I know you're a little rusty. Enough talk! Okay, here we go, here we go. Ooh. Oh! Looks like the Avatar is a little off her game. <sighs> you can't, like, go straight into a boss fight. She hasn't done any practicing or training since getting the Avatar state back. Ooh. Damn. Where's your defense, Korra? Come on! Korra's always been all offense, though. Oh, no! I think you need to use the Avatar State, girl. Bolin, do the thing. What thing? The thing! I never had to tell Julie what thing. I'm not Julie, okay? Pretend I don't know anything about anything that's happening here. Also, pretend I don't want to build a super weapon or get my hands blown off. Walk me through what you're doing. I want to know every detail of your work. Don't tell him anything, man. He's gonna... Every information you give him makes you yourself more replaceable if someone else can replicate this process. The last time we ran the current through the vine, we couldn't control the power. So I'm trying something Come new on, to see if I can direct it. Put it together. Varric is trying to give you signals. Okay, okay. Ooh. Come on, Cora. You're not ready for this without the Avatar state. Uh, that's a pretty clever move, like putting the metal bracelet on her and then she can like control where she moves. That's cool. Damn. Get up! Show me what you've got. We have to help her. No! Stay back! No, because if you guys rush in, then so does the army. <clears throat> Hand me the screw turn thingy, would you? Oh, I can't believe you're helping them. You know this isn't right. Funny story, Bolin. I first got the idea for harnessing spirit power when I watched that giant Unalak monster attack the city. That giant monster set me free. Yeah, do you get it now, Bolin? He's setting you guys free by making the thing explode the back of the train again. There we go. What's that ticking? That's the timer. The timer for what? For the bomb, of course. The bomb that's going to explode in five minutes and destroy this entire train. All of the spirit vines and everything else within a few hundred yards. Oh, Jesus. Bolin and I are ready to go down with the ship. Or train, in this case. But you seem like you have a lot to okay, live Okay, this is for. a bluff. There's no way he's willing to go down with the ship. This is totally a bluff. You're bluffing. You'll be sorry you left me, Julie. When they write the history books, your name will be <laughs> Look at Bolin. He's so stressed. <laughs> Oh, didn't He's you like hear He's biting us? his nails. Enough! <laughs> what makes you think we'd let you blow yourself up? Grab him. You try to pull me away from this thing and I'll hit this remote and blow it immediately. Why do you have a timer and a remote? Well, first I built the timer, but then I thought, you could drag me off the train. So then I built a remote. But then I thought, well, now do I really need the timer anymore? Because I got a remote in my head. Whatever! <laughs> I'm covering all my bases. The Look at Varric. Using a power move. I dig it. <laughs> You gotta find a way to counter those little, like, magic bracelet moves that she keeps doing. Okay, okay.
I mean, she warned you guys that she can't, like, she can't stop herself in the oven. Like, she's gonna crush this girl right now. What? The fuck just happened? Was that real, or was that a vision in her head? I knew you were weak. That was a hallucination, right? Kuvira didn't just use the goddamn Avatar state somehow. Damn. Oh, well, now you've interfered. You broke our agreement. Yep, now the army can move in. Attack! What have you done? Oh, you can't airband them all away. Okay, you can you can do a lot though. You guys gotta get Cora out of there. I'm for help. Oh nice, Stunning he's teaching them art. It hurts my <laughs> eyes with its raw emotional power. <laughs> ah, pedestrian. I already know what you look like on the outside. I've what are you talking about? That's fantastic! Milo. God, Milo's so talented. <laughs> You have to get Cora and the rest of us out of here now! Finally! Let's get it all! Alright, Milo. This is your opportunity to finally do something. Do the thing! Uh... Unhook the cars! Oh, come on! That was an easy one! Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to suck. Man, that was great! How do we turn this thing off? Oh, we can't turn it off. We're gonna blow up. But Wait, what? We had a pretty good run, right? That wasn't we a bluff? We a good run. Oh my god. <laughs> Varric did say he started having new feelings. Okay, so jump out, bail out, and let the Labic destroy all the spirit vines. That'll end her capabilities to make the super weapon. Let's go. See you on the other side, Julie. I want you to know I hate you. <laughs> Ooh. And they only see the explosion, so they're gonna think that they're dead now. Nice. Of course, as soon as they jump down, he probably earth bent them under the tracks to protect them. Uh, yes, you did it, Bolin. You did the thing. <laughs> I can't believe Julie worked for you as long as she did. All right, Icky and Milo, let's go. They're our cavalry right now. Yes. Okay. Oh, she's still really weak though. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> Good job, dude. Opal, get out of here! We'll be fine! Just go! I love you! Yeah, it's a bad situation, but also Sue definitely brought this on herself by trying to assassinate her. Zalfu is ours! That was a, that was a bad move, man. Bring the citizens of Zalfu to kneel before the Great Uniter. Now bow. Damn. <sighs> yeah, stand up for what's right. Good for you guys. Bow to her! They've got more spine than you ever will, dude. I'm so disappointed in you, Junior. Take them away! You're crushing my individuality! <laughs> All hail the Great Uniter! This is a disaster. This is terrible. Julie, why are you still there? I'm becoming very nervous that Julie did in fact betray Varric and that was real. Are you sure there's no way they survived? Positive. But I think I can replicate his work with the spirit vines and get us back on track. I'll just need an assistant. How would you like to help Batar build the most powerful weapon the world has ever seen? It would be my honor, Great Uniter. This is actually good, because now Julie can be in the position to sabotage their new weapon. Begin dismantling the domes. What? Dismantling the domes? Oh, man. They're going to leave Zalfu defenseless so that they're forced to rely on Kuvira's army to protect them. They can't be an independent nation anymore. Oh, man. Well, this did not go well. This did not go well at all. And now Sue and her sons are captive. Like, the whole family pretty much got taken captive, too, because the dad refused to kneel. This is bad. But Bolin and Varric are out there, and I really think that they're going to be key to solving this thing. And I'm not giving up on Julie yet. I still don't think that she has fully flipped sides. I think that she's playing the long game, and somehow she's going to be key. She's going to be instrumental 
to dismantling this empire at the end of like in the final episodes. She's going to be the reason the super weapon doesn't happen. That's my that's my prediction. I'm throwing that out there right now because I'm not willing to believe that she really did that betrayal. I don't I don't believe it. Yeah, this was a this was a wild episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to The Legend of Korra book 4 episode 6. We're not do like we're not in a great place now. Like Korra has been defeated yet again. This is not going to be good for her fragile emotional state. Like she really needed a win and taking on the boss like that it probably wasn't the best option. Speaking of not great plans, Su Yin, what the hell? Why would you go and try and assassinate Kuvira? And especially, why would you go in person? Why wouldn't you send someone to get that done? Because, like, she handed Kuvira everything she wanted on a silver platter by trying that in the first place. Yeah. Disappointing move to see her do that. Um, but, you know, she'll have a chance to redeem herself. But first, got to rescue her now. So that's, like, the next thing that's got to have to happen. I'm going to jump into the next episode. Thanks for watching. This reaction has been edited to comply with fair use, which means you're not getting my full reaction here on YouTube. Check out the full-length uncut version of this reaction on Patreon. There's a link in the description of the video to the Patreon page. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next one.